Thank you for allowing me this interview today. Your room is... very intriguing. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. I am very excited right now. You know, I don't really understand why, but your work really inspires me. Uh, every time I watch one of your videos, I'm inspired to create another piece of art for myself or uh, work on a new video. It really brings my energy level up and really inspires me to do my best. In a way, uh, you're sort of my muse. You are making me blush. I can't tell you how much it means to hear that. You are an inspiration to me as well. All right, let's get right to the questions. Could you expand a little bit on the inspiration behind your work? My inspiration comes from events in my life, both current and from the past. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember certain things from the time before being a user, and my blog is about exploring and understanding what I can about these instances. I feel as though there are others out there like me, trying to understand the world and how they got to where they are in life. Your style is very different from most people's. Uh, would you care to expand on inspirations behind your unique style? Old cartoons and late night television is a very big influence in my style. Combi is obviously one of my favorite shows. For a lot of people, it brings that sense of nostalgia mixed with uncertainty, and that is the same feeling I'm attempting to create in my blogs and other content as it is representative of my life. Who is the TV man? What does he represent to you? The TV man is a collection of episodes that are aired very late at night. I watch and record some of them for my blog, though I am only allowed to show specific parts. TV man is a teacher, he helps me understand certain concepts and look at things from new or different angles. Personally, I feel as though he is also similar to an infomercial salesperson. I can't exactly say why. I've asked you once before uh, where you're currently located and you simply responded, the church. How long have you lived at this church? For as long as they will let me remember. Could you describe the other rooms, since we mainly just see yours? I'm not really allowed to talk about the different rooms in the church. But I've been in the nearby monastery, and it is absolutely beautiful. The ceiling resembles the underside of a ship with the wooden beams bowing downward and curving in a way that appears unnatural to the eye. I can't say that I understand the method of carpentry, but it's a stunning sight. So you have a box of some sort on your channel sometimes. Can you explain what that's all about? I hear it has some kind of weird properties. Could you explain some of the weird instances with it? The box is a very unique gift that was given to me by a friend. It is made out of six black mirrors with gold etching that will trap light and repel it depending on which way it's turned. The music it plays happens to be a custom song. Whenever the box is out, it causes unusual disturbances. Lights won't turn on, the internet stops working, and sometimes my other music boxes will start playing. Now this might seem kind of an odd question, but um, I'm really curious. Do you wear the mask when you go to bed and shower? Or just when you make the videos? Or perhaps you wear it other times besides the videos when do you wear the mask i wear it for videos rituals and training sessions i do not wear it to bed how is spooky face we haven't heard from him in a while he is doing well he has been very busy lately with work and family related things some would assume with the name spooky face being integral to your channel that your face may have been made spooky is your face m mutilated in some way under that mask? Spooky face has a very spooky face under his mask. We all do. Okay, not sure I like that response. Uh, moving on. We don't see you eat very much. What do you eat, user 64342? 
soup and stir fry. Here's a question that a lot of people have asked. Do you delete the videos on your channel? I do delete or private some videos. The reasons often have to do with personal anxiety or confidentiality issues. Thank you so much for allowing me to interview you today. Thank you again. I had a lot of fun. I'm sure I'll see you around. Goodbye. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our patrons. Thank you all for everything you do to support what I do. Investigator Zeus, Dobby's Music, Vexus, Jerry Mullins, Phantasm7, and CNK114. Thank you all again for keeping this channel and my other projects going.